What is the role and significance of vitamin D? Vitamin D was first recognized by McCollum as a component of good fats that cured rickets. Chemically, compounds with vitamin D activity are sterols. The two forms of the vitamin which are important are vitamin D2, that is ergocalciferol of plant origin, and vitamin D3, cholecalciferol of animal origin. Vitamin D2 is formed when ergosterol found in plants is exposed to ultraviolet rays. Vitamin D3 is the chief form occurring in animal cells and develops in the skin on exposure of 7 dehydrocholesterol to ultraviolet rays from sunshine. Dietary vitamin D is absorbed along with food fats from the intestine. Bile salts are essential for effective absorption. Disease conditions in which fat absorption is affected also hinder vitamin D absorption. Vitamin D made in the skin enters the blood where it circulates attached to a specific protein. Vitamin D itself is an inactive storage form of the vitamin concentrated in the liver. It rapidly hydroxylated addition of OH group to 25 hydroxy vitamin D3 calcidiol in the liver. Calcidiol is further hydroxylated to 1,25 dry hydroxy vitamin D3 calcitriol in the kidney. Calcitriol is considered the active form of the vitamin which acts as a hormone in calcium metabolism. As vitamin D is necessary for proper bone calcification, it is also called calciferol to signify an alcohol promoting calcification. Vitamin D is soluble in fats and organic solvents but insoluble in water. It is stable to heat and is not easily oxidized. Functions of Vitamin D Vitamin D plays an essential role in the metabolism of calcium and phosphorus. Calcium is required for the development of bones and teeth. Blood calcium levels have to be very tightly maintained for normal functioning of the nervous system. The pro-hormone vitamin D which gives rise to the hormone calcitriol regulates blood calcium levels within a narrow range. Vitamin D in bone growth Vitamin D plays a special role in bone growth by making calcium and phosphorus available in the blood. When the blood calcium level becomes too low, for example when calcium intake from diet is inadequate, the parathyroid gland secretes parathyroid hormone PTH. PTH promotes the activation of vitamin D to calcitriol, the active form of the vitamin. Calcitriol restores normal blood calcium in three ways by facilitating absorption of dietary calcium from the intestine, increasing the mobilization of calcium from the bone into the blood, and increasing the reabsorption and retention of calcium by the kidneys. These actions increase the levels of calcium and phosphorus in the blood. Normal calcium levels permit deposition of calcium in bones and teeth. It is also important for normal nervous function and muscle contraction. Vitamin D in other roles Scientists have discovered other roles for vitamin D. Vitamin D has been found in many other tissues such as the brain, nervous system, pancreas, skin, muscles, reproductive organs, liver, kidneys, hormone secreting glands, etc. Vitamin D may have some important role in these tissues as well. Daily Allowances of Vitamin D ICMR has not established a daily allowance of vitamin D, but for our Indian population, because of plenty of sunlight is already available in a tropical country like ours, it is not known how much of vitamin D is exactly required by a body through diet and sunlight. The vitamin D requirement of children is placed between 200 to 400 international units. The requirement is lesser for older age groups. The allowance for older age groups is difficult to establish because of exposure to sunlight. Vitamin D requirements have been suggested for different age groups. The requirement for vitamin D can be obtained in great measure through exposure to adequate sunlight. Only in cases where the vitamin D requirement is not met through adequate exposure to sunlight or due to metabolic or genetic reasons, therapeutic supplementation of vitamin D may be necessary. 
rich sources of vitamin D. Only a few foods contain vitamin D naturally. Fortunately, the body can make all the vitamin D within itself with the help of a little sunshine. Vitamin D in Foods Most foods have negligible amounts of vitamin D. Most of the plant foods are poor sources of vitamin D. Some foods of animal origin like egg yolk, liver, fatty fish, butter and fortified milk provide variable amounts of the vitamin. Vitamin D from the Sun Most of the world's population relies on natural exposure to sunlight to maintain adequate vitamin D nutrition. The sun imposes no risk to vitamin D toxicity. For most people, exposing hands, face and arms on a clear summer day for 10 to 15 minutes at least 3 times a week should be sufficient to maintain vitamin D nutrition. Dark skinned people require longer sunlight exposure than others to derive the same amount of vitamin D from a sunlight exposure. The ultraviolet rays of the sun which promote vitamin D synthesis can be blocked by heavy clouds, smoke or fog. People who are unable to go outdoors frequently or dark skinned people who live in cloudy or smoggy cities should consume foods fortified with vitamin D or therapeutic supplements to prevent its deficiency. Deficiency of Vitamin D Vitamin D deficiency is also common in infants who are solely breastfed without exposure to sunlight. A deficiency of vitamin D leads to inadequate absorption of calcium and phosphorus from the intestine. The amount of bone mineral deposited is reduced. As a result, the shape, structure and strength of bones are affected. In children, the deficiency condition is called rickets and in adults it is called osteomalacia. In both conditions, the bones become soft, bend easily and are prone to deformities. Vitamin D Toxicity Vitamin D toxicity is also called hypervitaminosis D. Vitamin D toxicity does not result from sun exposure. The liver storage capacity is smaller for vitamin D than for vitamin A. Toxicity results when people take vitamin D doses of 10,000 to 50,000 international units per day over many years. Excessive amount of vitamin D results in excessive absorption of calcium from the intestine and the elevation of blood calcium levels. Symptoms of toxicity include loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, excessive thirst, weight loss, polyuria that is excessive urination, severe itching, muscular weakness and joint pain. Excessive blood calcium deposits in the soft tissue such as kidney leads to the formation of stones. Calciums may deposit in the arteries making them hard. This could be dangerous if it occurs in the arteries of the heart and lungs leading to death. 